you trying to determine whether WordPress or Wix is the right platform for you? Well, in this episode of Wix Open Mic, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons to both Wix and WordPress, WordPress.com and WordPress.org, because there are two different styles of WordPress. So we're going to review that, and I'm going to explain, you know, the past, the present, and the future of what it looks like to work with either of those two platforms. Now, before we get into that, head over to Weekly Wix Wednesday, where you can get exclusive tips, tricks, and tutorials to learn how to execute and build your dream website in the Wix editor. So guys, let's start with the past. Wix has a phenomenal platform now, and you're probably asking, well, you know, where were they a couple years ago, or where were they when they first started? And let me be the first to tell you that they were a completely different company. Completely different company. Wix started from the ground. They built their own platform to allow people to build their own websites. It was great from the beginning. They used a Flash editor from the beginning of Wix and then progressively moved into their HTML editor, which is where they're at now. But there's also a lot that happened in that time period. You know, Wix started small. They started and then they started adding things and adding things and adding things. And when I say adding things, they added features. They added an app marketplace. They added more freedom to their editor and all the way up to Wix code now. But that's that's the first step of the journey, the past. You know, Wix was great. It started with a small amount of users. And now, I'll get to the now in a second. But then we have to go back to WordPress. And WordPress is the the classic you know vintage i don't even want to call it vintage because it still powers you know like 30 percent of the users online today but it is that old web design platform and i i'm very carefully choosing my words here when i say old i mean this is the the premier choice of web design within the past i would say 10 to 20 years really I mean people know WordPress people believe that if you build a WordPress website you've got an excellent website ready and optimized for SEO you've likely got a great blog WordPress was often correlated with blogs now WordPress is really known for building websites that have blogs on them and you've seen plenty of WordPress websites they're very good-looking websites they're very polished and they're very user-friendly now you're probably asking well Okay, so obviously WordPress has the more time behind its platform. They they have more experience and more testing behind their platform. And to that, I would agree with you. However, you have Wix, which is still considered a newcomer to the market because now let's touch on the present, okay? So WordPress, if you were to ask me two years ago, would have been probably an editor I would have chose for more complex builds, you know, for more involved web design projects. But that was two years ago. In those two years, Wix has changed insanely much. And what I mean by that is they've added their own lineup of Wix apps. They've added Wix video. They've added Wix bookings. They've added Wix stores. They've added uh, the Wix blog, they've added Wix events, they've added all these Wix apps, and that happened, you know, earlier towards the last two years, okay, they started adding all these apps, phenomenal Wix apps that work great with the platform, obviously, because they're designed and developed by Wix, so they started adding those, and then they started updating their editor, updating their dashboards, okay, and as that process happened, We started to see Wix develop as a company. We started to see Wix turn into its own really unique platform that powers a good percentage of the uh, websites on the internet. In fact, Wix powers and has over 100 million users right now. So it's not like they're a small company anymore. It's not like they haven't taken that opportunity and grown. So that was the first step of the ladder there. But then we take it up a notch and we go through towards the end of the year in 2017 and we see the Wix code beta come out. Now, what is this Wix code beta? Well, this Wix code beta is actually revolutionary to this platform, but also to the entire web design industry because Wix prides himself on providing an editor and a community that really supports 
your goals. And I truly believe that. Being a Wix certified trainer, being a Wix design expert, winning the Wix Megastar Award for 2017 for making a meaningful impact on the community, I believe that that is a very true statement. And if we take a look at that, we see that Wix code comes out. And the reason it's so revolutionary is because another huge key component to Wix is freedom. You have entire freedom of the HTML editor. So you can take a website, a blank canvas, and turn it into whatever you want. It is a drag and drop WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. And that is completely true. You drag it, you drop it, you build exactly the type of website you want. Now, obviously, there's going to be more complex web design builds, which, by the way, if you have any of those, feel free to reach out to us. You could email me at info at wixmywebsite.com. Go check out the description for more details. We are a company that helps people build websites. Now, if we go back to that, Wix code takes it up a notch because that freedom is so intense and it gives people all of the ability to build what they want, what they see on another website. They take inspiration from different websites they can put together. Well, Wix code now allows custom JavaScript. So now in Wix, you have the ability to design completely free, but now you have the ability to code and design uh, or develop functionality into your website. So from before, you couldn't do certain things in Wix. You know, you couldn't build advanced membership websites. You couldn't build cool online stores that were filled with functionality. You couldn't build directories. You really couldn't build websites with advanced functionality in them. Now you can. Wix code opened an entire new world. And let me tell you something. WordPress, fantastic. You can edit themes. WordPress has a humongous humongous outlet of themes you can go through wordpress and you can get thousands upon thousands of different themes for your wordpress site now you have two different options for wordpress you have wordpress.org and you have wordpress.com wordpress.com is hosted by wordpress wordpress.org is a self-hosted blog so this means it's self-hosted by you you can go through several different hosting uh, sites you know I know HostGator used to be a big one um, there's there's plenty of them GoDaddy even that you can buy a domain name and get hosting for your WordPress website straight through those companies and WordPress works quick usually the servers are very fast if you go self-hosted and obviously if you go wordpress.com servers are just as fast websites look very sleek they look very modern they've got a good appeal to them and they are impressive however the difference is wordpress does not give you the freedom in a sense that wix does wordpress is also a lot more difficult and challenging to learn as compared to wix and this is true because wordpress just requires some more technical knowledge and some more in-depth education as far as the platform goes wix Really, anyone can get on there, hop in there, mess around, and start to learn how to build a website by simply following the different icons and dragging in text and dragging in pictures and dragging in backgrounds or strips. And it's really easy to learn. So that's a big draw to Wix right there, the ease of use as compared to WordPress. Now, don't get me wrong. WordPress, phenomenal platform, excellent style, excellent branding, excellent speed. I mean, they've got a lot of great things going for them. But they don't have that ease of use and quite as free as Wix does. The, the freedom in the editor is so much more impressive in Wix. So Wix code just took it up to the next level. Now we look at the future of the two platforms. WordPress continues to grow. They continue to, I, I'm pretty sure the number's up to, like I said, about 30% of internet users um, have WordPress sites, who, who own websites, have, have WordPress related websites, hosted websites, and, and that's an impressive number, and you will continue to see WordPress likely stay status quo. They've already got a completely open source kind of system to where you can get plugins, they've got a great plugin market, and they've they've got lots of different opportunities for you to build different types of websites and, and build good looking websites. So you're likely going to see WordPress stay status quo because really the old saying goes, if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And WordPress has perfected their system, and that is noticed 
in the numbers they have on internet users and the people that love WordPress. That it's very clear. But you look at Wix, which for some people may say, okay, there's a little bit more risk involved because we don't know where Wix is going. Well, I can tell you from working very closely with the company that Wix is only going up from here. Wix code was the tip of the iceberg. They released so many features with Wix code, um, which, by the way, there's custom JavaScript that you can build, but then there's also easy parts of Wix code that you could implement yourself without knowing a line of code. Um, so we see that, and then there's so many new new uh, features coming out alongside that. Different membership features within Wix, different paid membership features within Wix, different S, uh, SEO features, different Wix store features that's going to open up the API for Wix stores to enable people to start really customizing their online stores. So if we look at the futures here, WordPress, status quo, good, good looking, consistent Wix. I really think and truly believe this is the new movement for web design. I believe Wix stands above all other web design platforms right now. And I know I'm a Wix advocate and you know, that may seem a bit biased, but I truly believe that Wix is going to take over this online web design market and you are really going to have a platform that is very hard to compete with. There's so much freedom, it's cost effective, and it's very easy to use. Now, if either of those, any of those don't apply or sound like music to your ears when starting a website, then I don't know what else could. If you were to ask me two years ago about building a fairly complex website, even you know a somewhat basic but functional website, I would have told you, you know, WordPress might be a better option. If you ask me today what I would say, I would tell you that Wix most definitely is the option and way to go when choosing whether to use WordPress or Wix because you are only going to see more and more features added to this Wix platform. It's already amazing if you ask me it already with wix code just took it over the edge but it's only going up from here so guys if this video helped you in your decision making process drop me a like down below comment if you have any questions you know regarding either of the platforms i'm here to help answer those if you're looking into wix reach out to us we're more than happy to help you get started building your website uh, info at wixmywebsite.com. Check out weeklywixwednesday.com to get on that email list to keep learning more about Wix. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert for some more awesome web design content. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the Wix Open Mic Episode 2. I will catch you on the next video. Also, bear with me. We're approaching finals week here in about a week and a half in school, so I'm going to be busy over that period of time. I will try my best to get a video out, but I'm getting ready to pack up and move back home for the summer too. So bear with me over the next week and a half. Thank you guys, and I will catch you on the next one.